Hi, my name is Justin, aka Ghost Reader, and today uh, I'm going to be doing a book review. Uh, and the book is The Price We Pay um, What Broke American Healthcare and How It Can Be Fixed by Marty McCarty. Uh, he himself is actually a surgeon at John Hopkins, and I got this book as a uh, arc from NetGalley in exchange for a free review. Um, so, what this book talks about um, is it looks at American healthcare uh, and where we are either over charging patients and um, what waste are, are just kind of generated by um, the healthcare system in America. Uh, basically how doctors are pushed to do more procedures uh, instead of provide quality healthcare and spend time with their patients. Or how certain parts of the industry are, are profit driven instead of patient driven. Um, and basically he, along through this book, he provides personal stories that kind of connect how um, the healthcare system is kind of hurting people, um, what elements of the system are doing that, and um, also people who are trying to, who, are, who I would say um, represent a paradigm shift in how we charge patients or how we conduct um, the, uh, healthcare in America who point to positive change. So while there are a lot of things broken in the healthcare system, there are people who have recognized it and are trying to make positive uh, changes in order so that uh, healthcare not only can it generate profit for those um, who are engaged in it, but um, it is patient driven. So profit isn't the sole focus of the healthcare system like it is now how many procedures you can do, how much you get paid for the procedure, how much uh, X amount of equipment costs, how much can we charge you for that, overcharge you for that. Or, um, we're gonna keep all of this hidden and so a patient can't easily find stuff out. We'll send billing agencies after you get your, uh, to garnish your, your pages, your wages and send you the bankruptcy. Let's move from that and more to where the patient is actually taken care of um, and um, it's a more compassionate healthcare system. And so uh, I think he did a really good, good job of connecting personal stories with not only showing how it's broken, but also how it can be fixed. And one, uh, one that really stood out to me was a guy from France, a French citizen, had a mild heart attack in the United States. He needed an operation. I think the operation would have cost him, here in the United States, $150,000. That's what he was told at the hospital. I think it was $150,000. He called France and the doctor said, we can do it here for $15,000, same quality. I mean. Think about it, when you go to the hospital, I um, mean, you know, at least I hope this is true, <laughs> you don't go, well, the hospital over there has better quality healthcare than the hospital here. I mean, that's not what you pay for when you go to the hospital, right? You pay going to the hospital to, that they should all at least have great quality of care. Like, there may be a specialized surgeon in one hospital versus another, but for the most part, they should have baseline great care. So you're not paying, like, going to the hospital, paying, like, marked up prices at one hospital for really, really great healthcare, uh, and then going to another hospital and paying less for less quality healthcare. That's not, or at least should not be how the system works. But they said it would be $150,000. Um, when he told the, the guy, the representative from the hospital that he was just gonna go back to France and have it done there for 15,000, the guy without a beat, without consulting anyone, dropped the price down to $50,000 and went as low as 25,000. So, um, that means that the true cost of that procedure was probably $25,000 um, in the United States, not the $150,000 that he was actually going to charge. Um, he relates a story about a hospital that has sued 20% of the population in the town, including the judge that sat on the court in which these cases were heard um, in order to collect on, on, on accounts um, that for stuff where people went to the hospital took a Tylenol and then came out with like thousand dollar bill and of course this far as falls the hardest on low income people because people who are middle class or really wealthy they can just pay the bill outright whereas people lower down who are working like at Walmart or working at jobs where they're not making that much they can't pay that straight out of pocket and get sent to collections and, and now you're like fighting you know the hospital which is supposed to be helping you but yet they're just contributing more to your stress and probably send you to the hospital even you know Send you back to the hospital because you done fell out from stress related stuff. And then he goes into how 
there are other hidden costs, uh, like insurance brokers, people who broker insurance with insurance companies, they're paid on commission. That should tell you they're paid on commission, which means that basically they're going to work in their best interest to get as much money for themselves as possible, not what's best for that company. Uh, there's pharmacy benefit managers that actually they build into the cost of the, the amount that your employer pays for prescriptions. They build into that a nice, healthy profit for themselves, which is a lot more than is needed. And then you have um, these companies that sell medical devices where you have to pay a certain amount to be included in their magazine. And if, for example, they have a specialized relationship with um, a particular medical device company, they may stifle some innovation if someone else new comes along, but you know they have a profitable partnership with someone else. Um, but the, there are stories in there where there are some stories in this in here where you have hospitals who don't sue people, um, who take care of people at reasonable prices and still turn profit and not like falling apart. Uh, you have. Um, ground ambulances and air ambulances, uh, people who actually charge reasonable prices for their services. Um, you have insurance brokers that don't work on commission, they, but they um, are the, their pay scale is so that it's in the best interest of the employer. So yeah, that's just some of the stuff that he talks about. He also talks about um, some of the efforts that he has made also to help uh, prevent um, waste and in, in by waste, I mean in over procedures of, of uh, certain procedures that don't need to be done. He came up with some guidelines for that and how that can actually save. I mean, they spent, I think, $150,000 on the pilot study, and that ended up turning up saving millions of dollars from procedures not being done that didn't need to be done. So this is, I think, it's a great book. Um, I really uh, eye-opening to see like how like parts of the healthcare system are just screwing over patients and... Um, how they're taking advantage of you because you know when you're sick the, what you're worried about is getting well not maybe necessarily how much it's going to cost you, you just want to be alive you know to see the next day and they're just taking all this money out of our pockets and putting it in their own but not really taking care of us and so he provides some really good i think solutions and ideas um he exposes the reader to some um interesting paradigm shifting ideas out there and how healthcare can be done differently and better and for the patient's benefit and so i think this is a really good book um this book comes out on september 10th so uh, i highly encourage you if you're interested in in health in the healthcare system or how we can change it what some changes can be made that you pick up this book i give this book a five out of five stars because i think it's very informative it's very well written um he's um did a good job in making it personal and relatable so that is it for me in this review um if you want to see more uh, reviews from me, uh, you can like like this video. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe. Uh, let me know how I did down in the comment section below. You can follow me on Twitter at GhostReads28 and also um, on Instagram at JustinTheGhostReader. I promise I'll actually start posting stuff there. Um, and also, you can follow me uh, on Goodreads. The link to that is down in the description box below. So as always, I should have the hat today. Keep reading.